So yes, we plus that come here in Malta with Daniel Testa, who represented Malta in the Junior Eurovision 2008 and entered last year the multi selection for the Eurovision. Hi, Daniel. Hi, how are you? Hi, we're fine, and you? Good, good. I'm okay. doing good. So this week is the Junior Eurovision held in Malta, and you are. Uh, what are you doing in the Junior Eurovision? Uh, I'm with EBU. We're going to be doing live commentary on their official website. So I've never done it before. So it's something which I'm looking forward to. So you will attend this this tonight's Yuri final? Yes, yes, tonight and tomorrow obviously for the actual live show. What do you think about the organization here in, in Malta? Um, it's the best we've ever had by far here in Malta. PBS are doing an excellent job. Big well done to everyone. Mm -hmm. uh, everything is up to standards. Okay. So do you have a favorite for the show apart from Federica? Uh, I like the song for Cyprus. Yes. Um, that's my favorite. Yes, Sofia, yes. And what about the, have you seen the rehearsals or something? I mean, um, I've seen a few on the internet, however, I haven't been to the stage yet. Today will be the first time. Okay, so what, I mean, for, um, you won the, fir the, Euro the Uni Eurovision for the first time last year. So with Gaia, what, what do you think the Maltese people th uh, thought or what, what's in the hearts of the Maltese people when, when Gaia? Uh, before Gaia won, Junior Eurovision was quite big in Malta, however, not that big. Mm -hmm. Uh, however, when she won, you can literally see on Facebook everyone was posting, big well done to Gaia. Uh, obviously now it's here in Malta, so everyone, all the Maltese are very excited. We've never really done something this big. Uh, so it's something which every Maltese person is talking about right now. Okay. So do you, do you, do you experience that, that, that moment as well in Eurovision 2008? So tell us more about that experience in Cyprus. It was in Cyprus and yes. Lemesis. Uh, I was 11 at the time, I'm 17 now, so... Quite a few years have passed. Uh, I still remember most of what happened. Uh, it was an incredible experience. I loved every minute of it. Uh, and being here this week with some of the contestants recalls some of the memories that I experienced back in the day. Um, did you remember how was the... the how you, did you create the song Junior Swing? Yes. Um, it was great writing the song, um, putting it all together, going to the studio, recording it, obviously getting chosen in the finalists of Malt and obviously winning. Uh, a lot of rehearsals were involved and then I was very satisfied with the end result. I came fourth. So all went well. Okay, so now let's talk about the, the Eurovision. I mean, you entered last year with the One Last Ride in the Maltese Eurovision. Well, how was the experience and how did you create the song? I mean, because it was one of the favorites, as far as I can remember. And let's tell us more about that. Uh, basically, I placed third last year. The song was written by Beans Radin. Um, it was my first time in the actual Eurovision. It was the first year I could apply as well. So. I think I did well, you know, first yes. time coming there. <laughs> so it's 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 okay. Uh, I think uh, Malta has very has a very variety of singers and with different styles, different music. And who do you select apart from you, of course, to represent Malta at the Eurovision? Or who did you like in the past? Uh, I liked, in my opinion, my favorite song from all the Eurovisions for Malta is Gianluca's Tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, and this year I like Laho a lot as well. Okay, so this year you are in as well with uh, something in the way. Who did tell us our viewers who did create the song? Uh, Charlie Mason and Mans Eck wrote the song. Uh, Charlie Mason uh, was one of the people who wrote Rise Like a Phoenix at one Eurovision last year. Conchita, yes. yes, exactly. Um, the song was sent to my publisher, then we chose it out of around 70 songs. Yeah. Uh, I went up to Germany to record it, and well, now we're in the finals. You, you, you thought about uh, singing in Maltese language? Uh, no, it never really crossed my mind. I don't, I don't sing a lot in, in Maltese, mostly in English. Yeah, because uh, the songs w which goes to the Maltese final never are never in Maltese language. Never, never. Uh, do you think that should be changed? Um, I don't know. I prefer songs in English, to be honest, because everyone kind of can understand it. So I think it's good how it is. Finally, to finish this interview, uh, I would kindly ask you to send a little, uh, to sing a little bit of your song. Sure. Uh, Alright. There's something in the way, something in the way, something in the way you do it, do it. You've got a beat of your own, girl, and you're dancing to it, to it. We're talking down to the bone, there's something in the way you do it, do it. Daniel, thank you very much. Finally, you send a message to the readers on ESCplus.com. Hi, uh, everyone on ESCplus.com. Um, 
just like all the social media on for ESC Plus and I hope everyone enjoys the Junior Eurovision and the Adult Eurovision. Thank you very much for the interview, Daniel. Thank you. Excellent.